because I've shared my knowledge with you so then it's up to you what you do with it there's no doubt that you know I'm just sharing what I have experienced in my own evolution and hoping that it will throw some light and clarity in your evolution and then you can begin to let go of the fear because fear just puts the plug on everything, keeps you in servitude, keeps you in cowering down to uh, fit in. Don't buck the system, don't question the government, don't question the church. Um, and the church saying we're all sinners born in sin and then we go on to beat ourselves up and live in guilt for the rest of our life. That is not a kind thing to do because it's really not true. We're children of God and we have all the love available for us when we drop the fear, let the fear go, realizing there's nothing to be afraid of and let the victim ticket, tear up the victim ticket, <laughs> it gives you a right to hell. <laughs> and then you carve into love and gratitude and joy and mastery so you can actually go into any situation and not be overwhelmed anymore because your energy field in love is so strong nothing can penetrate and that's why Jesus when somebody touched the hem of his robe he could feel it because you can feel the energy so you build up your energy field after you've cleared it all and you're just so strong. You live in super consciousness. You're aware of everything that goes on around you. You see with such clarity. But you won't let anything bring you down. Or nothing can touch you unless you give your permission. And you can feel safe and secure anywhere you go because you have such confidence. You know, you generate that and people feel that. And it's not a fake, being perfect confidence of a veneer, a mask over yourself. It's a genuine confidence that you are who you are. And it's not an ego thing. You know, you're God. You're a master. You've mastered all the fear, control, domination, uh, torture you know and it's all from your consciousness so I would say fear keeps us locked in the dungeon fear kept me as a child locked in the cupboard too scared to come out shaking fear kept my daughter in a cupboard she used to hide in a cupboard at boarding school because all the girls were nasty um, so fear keeps us contracted and shaking in our boots, if you've got any boots to wear. So come out from fear. Let fear go. It doesn't serve you at all. It just keeps you plugged up and locked in the dungeon. So come out of the dungeon of fear and move into love. That's our natural evolution that's where we're going to and so coming down from the head into our hearts to open up clearing our power center our solar plexus and our first chakra is all the fear of survival second it's all the confused emotions which we couldn't sort out when we were children and they all get stuck you know how your stomach gets knotted so it's all just emotions which you just have the, the confusion and creating confusion you live in fear as well so you can move to having complete clarity then you will know if people are lying to you if the media is lying to you you can see through it you can see through people so they may be saying one thing but you know it's not true because you can see inside because everything vibrates as an energy and when you see auras you know there's different colors emanating and changes constantly 
So it gives you a lot of clarity and then you can live uh, being a super conscious being, which is somebody who's living in unconditional love, which is very relaxing because you have no polarities going on. This is good, this is bad. So you can sit and watch life flow by, just enjoying it. Enjoying the birds singing, enjoying the dogs, the animals, the the bears, the um, and and actually accepting life in a way that if there's people who are suffering or people in war, that's where the consciousness is, and they're playing that out, and they will keep playing that out until they are tired, sick and tired of it and decide to let the fear go and judgment of, you know, somebody shot my son, so I'm going to shoot their son, and then they're going to shoot your uncle, and it carries on, you know, on and on and on. For lifetimes, you can see it in Israel. So it's only when you reach the decision, like you've had enough, you've had a gutful, you can't stomach it anymore, that, you know, you can decide to give it up or you don't have to wait that long, you can make a choice to give it up and live as a super conscious being who's adding benefit and energy to the whole human race or just live as a little person in fear. So you can master this situation, you're not a victim by any means. and you do have an amazing amount of strength and courage and you have even if you feel you don't if you ask for help you have the your guardian angel the angelic realm i mean people from other planets are amazing at healing you know the palladians they're just so masters of love the Arcturians, they're so quick, their consciousness is super quick. And they, they, they will help you with your, you know, anything that needs to be cleared. So all the help is there. There's no more excuses anymore. So you can decide to jump on the train to super consciousness and unconditional love. Or stay stuck with your ticket of being a victim and living in fear. Hmm, what shall we do? So it's a choice, and there's no judgment on what anybody does. And we can carry on being stubborn and using our will, I did for a long time, or just, you know, choose to live, live like this. And it's just wonderful to live like this and let go of the fear and let go of feeling uncomfortable in any situation because really I can be in the desert with a camel, be sitting with the Aborigines around a bushfire, be in Buckingham Palace or be in a big boat, doesn't matter. <laughs> There's nothing to fear or it's just enjoy what's going on and enjoying people's essence and, and their hearts. So, yeah, come on, be a super conscious being, it's fun. And that's, evolution is taking us there anyway. So, by sharing my journey, I'm just hoping to encourage you to you know, come along with me because I want lots of people to join me in fun and joy, like Pied Piper, you know. <laughs> come and all just have a ball. <laughs> And no judgment, because I was the best victim ever. And the best martyr. Whoa. So um, join me in love and joy and fun. And let's all be super conscious beings living in unconditional love. Join me. Goodbye. Love you.